Joseph YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Wife ruins her marriage for $50,000. So the story I've heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but behind this video I'm about to play is this game show was actually canceled because the drama that it caused was just too much for the families that were involved to handle. This video is captioned, if I wanted to get back with you, would you leave your husband. No more wasting time. Let's get it. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> Hold on. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. No? no? All right, so I don't know if you guys caught that, but another woman from their family hit that button because they didn't want to know the answer to that. They did not want to drink that coffee. No, um, I'll have a tea, actually. It was too much. <laughs> so you guys have probably figured out how the game show goes. They're asking the wife um, a bunch of questions and they bring in exes, family members, etc. Let's keep watching. Okay. Hold on a sec. Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch, but this is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. I mean, you would want to know if you were the husband, wouldn't you? You would want to know what your wife would say. I mean, based on what we see already, it's not looking good. <laughs> okay, I have, I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is... Did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's gonna be any easier. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend Frank will ask in place. <laughs> so is it $50,000 or $100,000? Maybe I got the amount wrong. I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000. And I hope, Lauren, that that is a gamble that's worth it for you. So, ex-boyfriend Frank, once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Oh, man. Poor Frank, look at that man. Well, <laughs> wow. Um, um I want to be honest and say yes. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. You cannot definitely make this shit up check out this dude's face man this man is devastated right i know this coffee does not taste good frank you gotta leave fast not slow let's keep listening that answer is true i'm not sure what to say you've answered 15 questions, truthfully, you've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear, so might as well just go for it. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only... Uh, Assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. 
sometime. Man, I mean, this this is uncomfortable. I guess you guys could probably tell why this show was canceled. He looks devastated. Was it worth 100K that she's probably going to keep the most of after the divorce? Right? And guys, this is a good thing about understanding women, right? For my fellas out there, you can tell whether a woman um, hasn't gotten over an ex. And if, you're, if you get any hint that the woman you're dealing with is struggling to get over an ex, because the way he responded there is like, oh yeah, he was an issue in the past, but I thought we got over it. No, that's a red flag. You should just walk away from that situation. You don't want to be competing with the type of situation where a man has left such an imprint on a woman that you just she she just cannot get over him. We're going to check out some of these comments. Of course, I'm curious to know what you guys think. So first comment here says he better leave her immediately after this. I agree. Here's another comment that says, well, the marriage is over. Uh, see you at the gym, Frank, my boy. Another comment here says the ex-boyfriend wasn't the issue. It's the wife. Here's another comment from somebody else that says, don't be a wimp, dude. Take your ring off, set it on the chair and walk out. Have all her belongings in the front yard when she gets home, period. What would you guys do, man? What's your next move after something like this? Comment down below. I'm curious. This next comment is from a woman and it reads, the poor husband, but at least he knows the truth. Hope he finds someone who appreciates him wholeheartedly. It'd be cool to get, get a like follow up on these people. They're probably not allowed to talk about the show after um, things like this air. Here's another comment that says, if the answer isn't immediately no, she's gone. Another comment here from another man says the fact she don't even answer that question would be enough for the husband to walk off, but he didn't. Um, another comment here says, sorry, but no amount of money would make me do this to my partner. Even if it was true, no one deserves to be hurt and humiliated like that. Yeah, this is a pretty touchy game show. And I can imagine if they were like, we want to get real um, couples on here and get the real reactions. We we're going to F up some relationships. Now the comment here says marriage over, wrap it up. Another person here added, she already answered the question with her body language. Here's another comment that says, well, at least he's getting 50K from the divorce. But is he, is he getting 50K from the divorce? Because we know how this money and stuff is usually split. But listen, guys, as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think of this whole video. Comment down below. I appreciate you checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.